Hey guys, it's Mary Beth Eversol, the Allergy Actors here, and I'm here today with a very good friend of mine, a fellow Hilarity Over Therapy troupe member and fellow clean eating enthusiast, Georgie Goiko. Now Georgie, what are we doing today for cooking? So we're going to do a very typical Puerto Rican plate, Ooh. but on the cleaner side. So that involves rice, brown rice, yeah. um, some veggies, broccoli yeah. and carrots, mm -hmm. some black beans, and some fried proteins. Planted! <laughs> I've never had those. I'm so excited to try them today. They're so, so, so yeah. So today <laughs> is clean eating Puerto Rican food with all the spices. I'm so excited. Okay, you ready for this? I'm so ready. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go look at the ingredients now. Okay, so Georgie, <laughs> you normally cook for yourself. That's right. So I would like you to give the measurements that you would use for one person, and then audience people, I just want you to know that today we're going to be doubling those measurements. That's why it looks like there's more. <laughs> um, <laughs> but this is these measurements that Georgie's going to give are, are for what he would cook for himself. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So for the most part, I would use um, a cup of rice. Okay, and you can use brown or white. Yeah, your selection, your choice. I go from one to the other, but... I recommend the brown rice. Yeah, it's healthier. more clean. Yeah, yeah absolutely. A little cleaner. Okay. Then I would also use a cup of broccoli and a cup of carrots. Then we have around two tablespoons of safflower oil. Okay, and why do you use the safflower oil? Many, 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 many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> For the most part, I did use it because um, um, before I tried the safflower oil, I started to break out a lot with the classic olive oil. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was it was mainly to uh, help clear out my skin. Oh, cool! It has a lot of ingredients and antioxidants that help help with that. It also helps a lot um, to reduce the PMS symptoms. So oh, maybe that's something that you want to um, keep in yes. mind. Yes. <laughs> Hello, girls. Safflower oil. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It also improves your immune system. So it goes oh down to those basics. So it sounds like it's a good thing for inflammation, like inflammatory stuff. Absolutely. Okay. It, it actually helps with weight loss as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's really good for that as it's well. It's a good oil. It manages blood sugar um, and it lowers, it lowers your cholesterol. What's this dark bowl here? That's Those are here. the black beans, very typical of Puerto Rico. Yeah. And we just used the, we just put the canned black beans in there today and we left some of the juices in and it was about a quarter cup, right? For yeah, you. you. About a quarter, quarter cup. cup. That's what I would do for myself. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. And then what comes after that? I tend to use a little bit of parsley on almost everything. Mm, yummy. Dried parsley. Yeah. And that's about like one tablespoon. Okay, cool. Yeah, so over here we have some Puerto Rican spices, that my personal one. favorite, which you can always see what it is down in the comments. Yes. <laughs> and how much of this one? That is about two tablespoons. Okay. And then this is another Puerto Rican spice. That's another one right there to add some extra flavor. Okay. That one is about half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, again, these two, you can see what brand Georgie uses down in the comments below. Yes. All right. Okay. And then? And then we have one tablespoon of minced garlic. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Okay. You can also use um, powdered garlic, but this is probably better for stronger flavor. Okay. I love garlic. Yeah. Oh my I gosh. Know. You can put it on anything. Good. It's so yummy. <laughs> okay. And the last thing? And the last thing is half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Yes. And the, the pink Himalayan salt is actually better for you. So that's what I would recommend. And that's what yes. Georgie recommends. It's the best alternative for sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. So on to the main event. Hey guys, guess what? Um, totally forgot the most important ingredient for Puerto Rican food. Plantains. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, so we decided that we're going to show you how to prep a plantain because I don't know how to do that, but you do. I will show you. I'm going to take this top part out. And it looks like plantains are like tougher than a little tougher skin than like a banana. Yeah, yeah. So, They're yeah. like twice as tough. I'm going to take okay. those little corners out because we don't need them. Okay. The whole idea is to take up the skin. Gotcha, okay, and um, you had recommended getting the green plantain yeah. because we want crispy plantain. Yes. The, cream, the greener, the better. Okay, cool. Absolutely. And then what if it is yellow? What, what's it taste like? It's, it's sweeter. Okay. It's sweeter. It loses its salty touch, which is what we're going for. It okay. is also something you can do, but it's not what we're going to go for today. I gotcha, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the salty, salty, salty. Yeah, it's, it's more typical of, of, of Puerto Rico. If we, if we do the sweet one, it's more Cuban. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right. And the brown okay. spots are okay. The brown spots are totally fine, guys. Okay. Cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it just looks like a banana, but it looks like a, a more firm banana. That's. There you go. That's about it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So then, what do we do with it to make the the? 
Are we you gonna slice it? Yeah, you pretty much give it any shape you want. You can do little squares, or my per personal favorite, I slice it from the middle and I, I keep it long. Oh. Yeah, I keep it long, and then after I slice it like this, I go ahead and slice it again. Oh my gosh. Right in the middle, like it's this. It's like plantain <laughs> french fries. Kind of, yeah, you can see it that way. So, there you go. Oh, that's so cool. They have little black seeds on the inside. They do, and they're delicious, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Okay. So, that's pretty much that's how so I cool. would leave them. You know? Oh my gosh. Also, like, slicing in the middle, but okay. that's pretty much how I would leave them. <laughs> Plantains. <laughs> okay. How do we prep the vegetables, which is kind of the first step? Yeah, so I tend to leave them uh, in boil, boiling water for like around two, three minutes just to okay. get them a little bit softer yeah. and just more edible. And then I saute them. Okay, and we're going to show that in, the, in another step. In the um, and I also forgot to mention that we showed you guys cooked rice. Um, we just put that in a rice cooker. Um, if you don't have a rice cooker, you can put, brown rice takes a little longer to cook and a little bit more water, so you would want to put it in um, a saucepan. And if you do like a cup of brown rice, you would want about two and a half cups of water and you would cook it for about 45 minutes. And that's that. Okay. That's about right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> on to the next step. We are sauteing the vegetables right now. Here's the awesome. Here we go. Okay. So um, we actually blanched the vegetables a little bit. So, um, or we talked about that. We boiled them today, but what Georgie does is he normally blanches. So you would boil the water first and then put the vegetables in for like two to three minutes until they turn bright and then stop because if, if they get past bright, we're losing nutrients. So, um, now we put some oil in, right? We did, with a little safflower oil right there. Safflower oil, yeah. and now we're going to dump the vegetables. And here we go. And it's just a straight up saute, peeps. It's what it is. Right so there. it's only about medium for the burn. Okay. We're gonna add a little bit more oil, actually. A little bit more safflower oil. A little bit more oil of juice here. It's so healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And then by now we're going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. Just start giving it a little bit of that flavor. Just like a little bit. I'm going to go a little crazy. Yeah. And yeah. always remember guys, salt from above. Because if you salt down below, it will all go in one place. If you go from above, it will spread out evenly. You, you feel healthy. And we can add a little bit color. of this, uh, the Puerto Rican spice. Yay. It's our it right now since it's starting to boil already. So this is like... the white Puerto Rican spice. Go. That we pointed out around. earlier. Turn this down just a yeah, bit. it's a little strong, so not too much. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of powdery. It's got the consistency of like a garlic powder. Um, so and it comes out very quickly. So be careful when you're dumping this pour. You can place on. Here we go. This is pretty good actually. It's really bright. It's getting a lot of good color. Nice. And now we're gonna add the very last part of it, which is some parsley. <laughs> parsley. Dried go. parsley. Now, could you do fresh parsley with this? No. No. Okay. No, I do the dry. No. I think it's way better. Dry parsley, way better. I think it's more clean. I like, uh, personally, I like dry parsley better because it's easier. Yeah, well, that too. <laughs> you're gonna go Have you ever tried to cut parsley into small pieces? It's not fun. <laughs> and this you can put as much as you want, really. You can have fun with it. Yeah. It's even more color now. How cool. And now it's just And how beautiful. long do you cook these for? Uh, I would say like five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, just like stare them for five minutes, play with it a little bit. Okay, cool. You can put the fire up or down, it just depends how... Yeah, be careful when you're cooking with oil to not go too high because it'll splatter in your face. So, <laughs> that's not fun. It's bean time. Beans, beans, magical beans. beans. The more you eat, the more you... Okay, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is our first step with beans? We turned on our flame. We turned it on, it's a medium, that's okay. where you should have it. Because cool. they get cooked pretty fast. Yeah. So we're just going to dump them all in. Be careful when dumping into a hot pan. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. <gasps> okay. <laughs> there we got it. Okay. After that, we're going to add some more of the safflower oil. Oh, yeah, okay. This just works with everything, you know. And this is just kind of like to your taste, right? Yeah. Okay. How much you would want it, really. I do like half a tablespoon, I would say. Okay. Yeah. But it's optional, of course. Cool. Mix Actually, your little bit there. There you go. Back to medium. I just didn't want it to splatter on your face. <laughs> I would add some parsley on here as well. It just gives it that extra little flavor and a little bit of texture, actually. Just a little bit. Texture and flavor is good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not to mention that it's just fun. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So tell me, because you told me a story about your grandma. 
Yes. Um, so, typically, in Puerto Rico, we would fry things a lot. And um, uh, my grandma decided when my brother when my brother was three and he got diagnosed with level three diabetes Oof. that we should all probably join in. And we're, we're putting some of the other orange Puerto Rican spice. The Puerto Rican now. spice. Again, this is just as much as you'd like. And by the way, you can use this on meat if you choose to do chicken. If you want to do chicken, you can put it in there as and well. And we're also going to put a little bit on the plant. I'll put a little bit on the plant as well. Okay. This is pretty versatile. Yeah. So, okay, so your brother got diagnosed with diabetes. That's yeah, awful. Yeah, type 3, uh, when he was 3 years old, so he was oh really, gosh. really young. I was only 2. Um, my grandma decided that we should all kind of jump in and not make him feel left out. Yeah. Um, so we all decided to do the, you know, the diabetic diet, which is the three meals a day really healthy, cutting back on fats and sugars. So we started we started trying to do different things like cut down some certain oils and start doing safflower oils. And um, instead of frying things, boiling them and you know, grilling them and all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much when it all started and that's been my life. That's ever it. Well since thank I was you two. grandma for the healthy lifestyle. <laughs> and she still does it. That's she still fantastic. calls me and she gives me she gives me recipes still. Ah. And she gives me new ways to cook it and you know that's just amazing. the healthy alternative, not to mention, you know, the workouts and all that kind of stuff. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Which Georgie works out. He looks, he looks really good, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this is looking really good already. It's getting really good flavor and color. I can smell it Yeah, already. I can smell it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys, I wish it there was smell vision. <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah, this is really good already. This okay, is there. so we're good? Okay, yeah. so um, we'll probably, we're done here. Yeah. Which that didn't take very long. What, like two minutes? Yeah. Three minutes? Two, three minutes. Okay. And then you're good. So, um, next thing we're going to do is the plantain. So excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, you guys. It already smells like so good. Like, Doesn't it? That's what I was Rob, thinking. they have like a little bit of a sweet smell. They do. They do. They always, so. always, always do. And this is when they're green. Imagine if they were yellow. When they're yellow, they're super, super sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. But like I said, that's more of a, of a Cuban tradition. We're trying to get a little Puerto Rican here. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, Puerto Rican. All right. Um, so the heat is on low, and we, how much oil did you put in? Safflower oil? Uh, about one tablespoon. One tablespoon? Okay. Yeah. You can do two as well. That's totally fine. They'll just fry faster and a little deeper, but I usually do one. Okay. To keep it a little cool. cleaner. And we're kind of like going, let me make sure the heat's on. Yes, it is. Okay. Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> it is. If you need to turn it up, you can. So, what else do we add? We are going to add the garlic. Ooh, garlic. Yeah, just to give it that extra flavor. We're going to start right now, actually. We just throw a little bit of these around. I don't put too many because, like, it's the, the flavor is just really strong. Right. I love garlic. <laughs> garlic goes with almost anything. Yes, it does. Honestly. If I could eat garlic alone, I would, but it's kind of strong to eat alone. <laughs> it's better in stuff. Okay, here we go. That should be good. I think we should okay. uh, get a little higher over here. Uh, okay, should so we go you this way? Turn it over here. Let's see how it says medium. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, so we, we went up to a little bit, like medium, or just like medium low. Yeah, so we're going to add a little bit of parsley again. It's my best friend, clearly. <laughs> I cook with parsley a lot too. Dried yeah. parsley. I like it. Here we go. That's good, and now we're going to add that funny orange Puerto Rican spice. Just a little yeah. bit of it to give it just an extra flavor and that little Puerto Rican kick. And it, this is the spicy one, right? This is the, this is the stronger one, yeah. Yeah. Which, in my terms, probably spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This oh, it gives it such a nice color. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it's, it's going to get a little like, like an orange. Yeah, a like orangey, like an orange a little tinge. bit orangey yellow. Yeah. It's really good. Oh my gosh. You so are going to love this. This is so much fun. I'm having such a good time. Oh, good. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Are you I guys do. having fun? I'm having fun. Okay. I just love cooking. I do too. And you cook for yourself every day, right? Every single day. Yeah. And it's it's because, you know, you're doing that clean eating and you like to be healthy and what you Absolutely. learn from your grandma. I so. love my grandma. And you know what? I have a hypoglycemia as well. Oh, okay. So, so I like to take care of I like to take care of my body, my system, my immune system and all yeah. that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, and that's what this show is all about. So cool. Okay, so how long do we cook these for and do you turn them? I do turn them. Um just to uh, give it like a minute or two. Okay. And and medium. And then you turn them around. Okay. When they start getting uh, yellow, that's when they start, they're, they're getting done. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're going to keep cooking these they're and I'll show you yellow. what they look like when they're done. <laughs> and then we will taste the food and it's going to be so great. Here are the cooked plantains. <laughs> Georgie!
These are amazing. Aren't they, they beautiful? They smell amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait to try these. Speaking of trying these, we are about to do the taste test. Yes. You guys, look at this plate. Oh my gosh. Plantains, rice, black beans, and vegetables. I'm so excited. Are you so ready to taste this? I am so excited. Okay, okay. <laughs> what should we do first? The plantain. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I love these. You guys, go get some plantains and eat them. <laughs> these are amazing, actually. Charging, you're just okay. I told you. Okay, now we gotta try awesome. something else. Beans and rice. These are right. Let's do some beans and rice. Let's do that. See yeah, how this works? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I like that. It's clean, fresh. I like the spice. The, the uh, Puerto Rican spice. <laughs> Again, you can see that below. <laughs> Um, alright, I'm gonna try the vegetables now. Oh my god! Mm. That was really good. Oh my god! <laughs> Can I become like a, a <laughs> Puerto Rican? <laughs> so I can eat your food every day. I'll adopt you. Yay! Adopted Puerto Rican. I cook for you every day. <laughs> okay. I want to keep eating. This is so good. Okay. The spices are amazing. <laughs> Look below to, to see what they are. Um, and it's not like crazy spicy. It's just like good spice. It's not. It's <laughs> um, not. It, it tastes like, like the, I can taste the garlic and there's like other kind of garlic type spices in there. Um, and of course rice is rice and rice is always good. And I think it would be great to put that, like you said, that orange spice in the rice. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that would give it flavor. a bigger kick. Yeah. yeah so, and these plantains, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat all of them. I told you they're good. Okay. So, this is my lunch for the day, and um, Georgie, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your clean Puerto Rican cooking today. Absolutely. Um, do you have like a website or anything that you would like us to go see your work? Because again, he's an actor, you guys, so <laughs> you see his work. Do you have anything uh, or like a do? You, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I would just recommend you to fo follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of my lifestyle choices, whether it's food or workouts or even what I'm wearing. So that's probably the best way to follow me. It's pretty fun and pretty fun. Just like okay. go there. And we'll post his, his Instagram handle at the end of this video. Yeah. So <laughs> sweet. He posts great pictures, by the way, you guys. Okay. So, all right. I, um, this is Mary Beth Abazol, the allergy actress with guest Georgie Goyko today, signing off for now.